I'm feeling like he's and I'm your theme park reviewer. I have not done a video like this in a while, but I just wanted to make a quick one about the D23 convention in Anaheim and pretty much about the parks and all the news we got, which was amazing. Thank you. But I'm going to kind of dice into the territory where the first part's going to be news we know, the second part's going to be news we kind of knew, and the last part's going to be news we didn't know at all. So here is the first part. Starting off with Toy Story Land. It's opening in 2019. It's opening up next year. Woo! Next year. At least we're getting Toy Story Land first. It's weird because it doesn't look like it's, it hasn't really made any really major progress, but it'll be the first time ever that Disney's gonna make a whole entire area be built in two years. I'm not joking with you. It's the first time ever in a long time that Disney's making an area within a within two years or a year and a half time span, considering that they broke complete ground last year and they are now, you know, vertical, we built the first roller coaster there, it's completed, it's got to build the buildings, a new entrance to a Toy Story Mini apparently they're having, they're going to have a new entrance to it, to the whole entire uh, attraction, which is going to be pretty interesting, which I'm pretty sure it's going to be a complete new door with a new theming over it, and Pixar Place will probably turn into Toy Story Land, which is going to be great, you know, extend it into that area. So, looking forward to that kind of Toy Story Land. I didn't know that there was a Shanghai Disneyland version, but hey, now we know it's going to be very much different like the other Toy Story Lands. And that's the like, cool news that we got. We already knew the attractions that's going to be there, but we just didn't know that they're going to have a new entrance to Toy Story Mania, which is pretty cool. Um, cool little reveal to all that news that they had for both the Shanghai Disneyland and the Disney World version, but you know, really good to know that the Disney World version is coming out next year. So thank you. We're getting a new land next year, so that is going into the books of getting a land every year. So, if you really look at it, 2018 Toy Story Land, 2019 Star Wars Land, um, 2020 probably the Guardians of the Galaxy attraction, 2021 will be Tron Ride, but we'll see. Um, next one, Star Wars Land. Not that much news, really. We got pretty much more information on the ideas of Star Wars Land, how it's going to be the most immersive land to land ever since they said. You know Pandora, that land that we created this year that everybody loves, we're going to kick that up to 11 by having full interaction. We're going to have living characters in these lands. We're going to have, um, we're going to have Chewbacca, we're going to have some characters from Star Wars, Clone Wars, Pop Star Wars, Rebels. We're going to have, um, our own version of a bounty hunter that could be looking for you if you do anything bad on one of the two attractions there, basically meaning really for the, uh, Millennium Falcon ride. The Millennium Falcon ride is going to have six people per carriage, and it's probably going to be a motion simulator, but it's going to be completely up to you. It's going to be completely immersive and completely individual in the way the experience, which means you get to fly to a falcon, you get to make your own decisions. And I don't know how far that's gonna go, but I really am looking forward to seeing that. And it was always the you know aspect and the aspirations I always thought that Mission Base was always was you know the interaction that you already have with it. But it definitely pluses up that idea of future attractions. I think any motion similar attraction that Universal makes now, it, it's not gonna be outbeat that. That is probably the most immersive attraction you can probably have. There's nothing that can beat that anymore. That, that's that's it's, it's over. Uh, the, the Star Wars attraction that they already had, the, the um, Droid Run attraction, they showed nothing for it, but they did announce that we're, we are fully getting that Star Wars hotel, which is going to have a complete theme, every room is going to have a space view, which means the whole entire hotel is going to be in space and a galaxy of Star Wars, which is really cool and awesome. Going into now, things we kind of knew. Alright, so we're getting a ride to attraction, into Epcot before the 50th or in this case, the 40th anniversary of Epcot during the 50th anniversary of the resort. Cool! I'm happy! We already knew this, but it's really cool that Disney has announced it. It's going to be a part of the new expansion to the France Pavilion. I'm wondering where the hell it's going to be. I'm probably going to look at maps all throughout tonight and tomorrow night and trying to figure out where they're going to throw it in there and where is it going to be, because that attraction is actually pretty big. I don't like the attraction personally, but it's pretty cool we're getting a new attraction in Epcot because Epcot second thing, Guardians of the Galaxy attraction. We kind of knew this. We really kind of knew this. We knew that was probably going to be coming because there's been a lot of speculation, a lot of rumors, 
that is probably going to be garbage. Ga Galaxy Attraction, I want to make a personal video about this one because I did not see this coming at all. This is pretty cool. Um, because, you know, there's been a whole thing of how there can't be any Marvel attractions in Florida because the clause that Marvel has made with Universal and that basically this clause says that no matter how, you know, basically Universal has to make sure that the Marvel characters are relevant throughout the next 10 years and unfortunately Marvel movies are just going to keep coming out and no matter what, these characters like Spider-Man, Hulk, and X-Men and Fantastic Four or whoever, it's Marvel Land, you get to meet Spider-Man and everybody loves Spider-Man, they're going to see these characters whether we like it or not. They are on the cartoon, they're on the cartoon shows, they're in the movies, they're there. So no matter what, they're always going to be in Florida, they're always going to be in Orlando, and most particularly in the, uh, they're most particularly going to be in Universal Studios. But it's really cool that they found a, a loophole, they found a loophole to get Guardians of the Galaxy in Florida, which I'm really happy. They're getting rid of the Ellen uh, Ellen's Universe of Energy, and it's going to be replaced with this. Now, only if the rumor is going to be true that the expansion of that show building is going to be the roller coaster. They didn't say it was going to be a roller coaster, but they said it was going to be a throwing ride. And basically, Star Lord has been to Epcot back in the day. Uh, that, that, that was the stupidest thing I heard. There was not really much of a chuckle that came out of anybody's mouth during that time. We were like, oh, how do you find an information? You guys, please, no, you need me. You need me on that stage to give you a better joke because that was a horrible joke. Um, next one that we kind of already knew. Well, this is actually more in the case of what we didn't know, and we kind of knew. So, what we didn't know. About a week ago, none of us really knew, but we always kind of had an idea that we are going to get a Tron attraction. So, Tron, the light cycle coaster, is definitely coming. Tron, the light cycle coaster, is definitely coming to Florida. It's coming to Magic Kingdom, but it's not, and this is a part of the what we didn't know, it's not gonna get rid of um, Speedway, the Tomorrowland Speedway. The Tomorrowland Speedway is still gonna be there, which I was expecting because I said the Tomorrowland Speedway doesn't have a large enough footprint to house that whole entire roller coaster. That whole entire roller coaster is gonna need a whole entire show building room itself. Which, in this case, it's weird because they do have the space for it, but it's probably gonna it's gonna reroute a lot of roads. There's gonna they're gonna probably take up a lot of backstage space, and most of all. The roller coaster itself is going to be outside of the park, like the uh, Space Mountain roller coaster, which is pretty cool. And it's going to be right next to Space Mountain, which makes Tomorrowland now a thrill area. The adult-ish or more big kid area where the thrill rides are. Why do I say that? Because you have um, the Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin, which is the slowest shoot em dark ride ever. But it's kind of a, I'm sorry, a thrill ride kind of weirdly. And technically, I always felt like Frontierland was that supposed to be that because it has Blast Mountain and it has the Thunder. But now I think tomorrow last thing to Thunder with having the Tom Light Cycle Coaster, which is a launch coaster, and it has Space Mountain, which has always been considered a throw ride, a complete far blown throw ride. It's exotic, it's fast, but it's not really fast, and it's fun when it's dark and it's scary. So there you go, another throw ride in that case. So you can almost kind of say that now. Magic Kingdom is going to have a kitty area where it comes to Fantasyland, uh, a medium area where it comes to Frontierland and um, Adventureland, and of course an adult area where it comes to Tomorrowland, which is really cool, but I hope there's a transformation to Tomorrowland in the next couple of years, you know, more attractions going to it, not just Tron Ride, not just the Tron Ride, but more rides as well, so really looking forward to that. Um, as for things you really didn't know, it's just that Star Wars, uh, that Star Wars hotel and the DV and um, the gondola system, which we all knew was coming, but we have been announced that it's going to be uh, an air-conditioned capsule gondola system that's going to be used both uh, apparently in Disneyland and in Disney World, weirdly. But it's, the, it's supposed to be able to get us from Disney, the, from the Hollywood Studios to Epcot easily. Why not just expand the dang freaking monorail system? That would be so much more better and so much more cheaper and so much more green. But in this case, they didn't do it. They're not going to do it. And I really can't talk about it. But this is supposed to be their answer to fixing the uh, transportation problem. And there's not really a transportation problem in Disney World. It's just to get to each park, to each park quicker. I don't know how much quicker it's going to be because it's a gondola system. It's only going to hold so much people 
Oh, it, it irritates me, but that's basically it. So, in all in all, the only news I can take out of this, I'm really not going to get it for, except, like, complete this act for, is Tron Coaster, uh, Gra Guardians of the Galaxy attraction, and, um, and, uh, and Star Wars Land. Oh, yes, there is something that we didn't know. New Circle Vision Theater video movie that's going to be made for, um, for, uh, what's this thing called? For the, uh, <laughs> For, for China, for the China Pavilion, they're going to have a completely new digital film that's going to be completely recreated, and that was the most disappointing news we got for for Florida, or for Epcot, because that's part of the Epcot reju rejuvenation plan, which is a part of this uh, big plan that the uh, guy who's worked with Epcot during his opening time, or opening day, was, was probably fixing up this uh, whole entire park in general, is supposed to be this rejuvenation plan. This first patch it, it's, it's garbage. I like the fact that they're throwing a Ratatouille. I like the fact they're giving us Guardians of the Galaxy. I like the fact that they're going to expand the entrance. I don't like the fact that we're getting a Circle Vision 360 video for China. We can get a Mulan ride or something, a dark ride at all. Like, you know, they're, they're giving us all these cool things. Like, here's Frozen, and people love it. No, but nobody loves it except for Frozen fans. Nobody loves it except for Frozen fans. Um, we Forget about that stupid Circle Vision 360 video that Walt Disney made years ago. It was cool back then. We need Rise in Epcot. Not no, any more Circle Vision film. That doesn't even work for freaking SeaWorld. That's the only news that we got of things that we didn't know was going to happen. And it's honestly the most disappointing. Um, and the, actually also in the, uh, in the, the Hollywood side, the Anaheim side, there was the, uh, the aspect that there's going to be uh, definitely the area where um, the Hollywood Land area is definitely becoming uh, Marvel Land. You're going to have Spider-Man attraction. You're going to have a Avengers attraction. Cool. Um, Fantastic just came back. And it's a completely brand new revamp show that's more modernized. It's got even more better projection um, scenes. But it's essentially the same show but with a new take on the song that we all know and love. So it's cool. I saw it. It was pretty nice. Um... That's really it when it comes to a lot of the other things. They're going to revamp the Epcot. Um, it might sound spectacular since it's not brought to you by Siemens anymore. Uh, there's just a big, a lot of things that's going to happen in the park that honestly I want to take some video time to just work on. And you know what? As for right now, I'm hyped as a fan of Disney World and Disney Park in general. I'm hyped. So can't wait until next time. Stay like Keezy. I'll talk to you guys later on the next one. Please comment down in the comment section. What are you looking forward to the most in the next five years for Disney World and Disneyland? I know I'm looking forward to the Marvel Land in Anaheim. And I'm looking forward to Tron Coaster in Magic Kingdom. Let's go. I am hyped for that. I am really hyped for that. Because that is a really cool coaster. And I'm a Tron fan. And I can't wait. Talk to you guys in the comment section below. I'm Taylor Keezy, your theme park reviewer. Signing out.